I might chip off, man. I got this, yeah. dragon and this will be his fourth time in the race the last three years we have gotten first place so we're expecting another win we've been training for about 364 days now so that's since the last race and so every day Rocky here drinks one gallon of water he doesn't really uh, like to but he does it so uh this is Rocky's favorite toy. It's uh, Uncle Sai from Duck Dynasty. I think he likes it because it makes him feel like a big man. Rocky, no. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Rocky, no! Rocky eats once a day. His worms, that is. You gotta get some protein in the diet, but they're fatty as well. So we can't have him fat for his race. This is Cinnamon, and she is a Finnish Spitz, one of the fastest breeds. <laughs> We've been training for this race for about three weeks. It's our first time, so she's coming into it the underdog, but I think she has a pretty good chance. Our training is pretty intense. She works out for about 17 hours a day. This is part of our training. It gets pretty intense, but it's really her favorite part, so... She just imagines herself lifting this bar, and it actually grows her muscles because just the power of your mind is so great. This is Luna Estrella Cazzoli. She's a miniature cheetah, and she's about seven years old. I found her when I went on my annual trip to Zimbabwe. This is her 24th race throughout her nine lives, of course. And I make her stand on these boxes, even though she's afraid of heights, because she likes to stare fear straight in the eye. She can also reach speeds up to 75 miles per hour in just two seconds. And her favorite meal is antelope and bearded dragons. One of her favorite exercises is taking naps. She naps about 19 hours a day. And naps are key in beating the competition. I mean, haven't you heard the story of the tortoise and the hare? When Luna isn't napping, she loves to play with random things. This activity teaches her to expect the unexpected, and if all else fails, just claw the shit out of it. them for the last couple of months. We've had competitions. Sometimes I come in at night and we do like obstacle courses or sometimes we do weightlifting to build up their core and they're really excited to compete. I still, I'm going to pick today actually. It's really exciting. I get to pick um, who's going to be in this year's race. Last year we had um, an official fish selector come in and we were not successful. Um, so I just decided that I'll be doing the selecting this year because I really know them. We've come to know each other and we've just gotten really close over the training. So this one here with the red head, um, we call him Carrot and he has been training for, I want to say maybe like 42 days. Um, he's, come back, come back. Um, he's really excited. But I don't know if he's ready this year. He might be like, his child might be better. Um, there's the all white ones, which are just beautiful. I just love them. Um, 
they tend to be weak-minded. Sometimes they're like, they get a little confused when we put them on the track. They start like flopping around and like, you need to go forward. So this is a really great way to train and we keep the speed pretty high because we want to simulate what it's going to be like on race day for her. So last year we had a little bit of a setback with Rocky. Um, I don't usually leave him, but I did. I went on vacation without him. I feel horrible. Um, but uh, see, he has these treats, and <laughs> we usually like to feed him, feed him um, the treat. <laughs> okay. So I left him with my grandpa, and I had some prescription pills next to the treats, and the whole week, grandpa fed him the pills <laughs> instead of the treats. So this one here is Nos, and he's really excited. He um, he passed the weight training. He had the longest breath control, which is really important for the track portion, and he had the quickest race time. So he will be this year's competitor. So excited, Nos! <laughs> yeah. So sometimes I just like to come out and check out the competition. They don't have a chance. She really just loves to sit out here and enjoy the view. <laughs> Steroids. I knew they had something. That's a DQ right here. Don't be mad if I cry. It just hurts so bad sometimes. Cause every day it's sinking down. And I have to say, Rocky, I'm sorry that you died. I'm sorry that I pushed you so hard. I just really wanted this race. Yours, but I guess you just didn't have it in you. You kicked asphalt the last three years, and no one will ever forget that. Love always. like a toss and catch because it like look like the reflex is just really good going so I'll have her do like a nice trick like she's laying down right now and then she just she catches it every time maybe I'll have her roll over this time yeah. oh. Oh. give me your paw come on Jake So it is race day, and I'm here with Markayla Cazzoli, distraught over her loss of Luna Estrella Cazzoli. Estrella! Luna! Luna <coughs> Estrella Cazzoli. <coughs> on the race day. <coughs> Any comments? You're just a beautiful human being, and you <laughs> miss her so much. He was, he was gonna win. And like, <sighs> we really, is my makeup messed up? Is You're it? good. Okay, good. We add the competition in the back. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I just came home from work one day and she was just gone. I called her name and she, <laughs> she wanted to respond. I'm just worried sick about her. So please call. If you find Luna, please contact Martina, her distraught mother, at 707 Hi! 
I'm Carly Pryor and this is Markayla Casoli. We are here at the old Dixon High track for the 32nd annual Amazon race. Due to unfortunate events, Markayla could not race her animal Luna today in the race, but we have two fierce competitors, Nas the Fish and Cinnamon the Dog. It's a full house here tonight at the Amazon race. What a turnout. Animal will be doing one set of bleachers, two laps around the track, and finishing out the race with a full out sprint. <laughs> Luna was so good at sprinting. I'm here with Sabrina Schulten and her dog Cinnamon. Any comments before the race?